Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna build a forced air diesel burner for my future furnace since my old one disintegrated. But why not slap a propane burner on there and call it a day, you may ask yourself. Excellent question. I want to melt cast iron with this furnace and propane gets barely hot enough for melting cast iron. The plan is simple. Use some pipe fittings and stainless steel tubing to connect a radial blower fan with an electric fuel pump and an oil nozzle. Profit. The pump is basically ready to go. I've added here a little shelf. For the combustion air, I'm planning to use this blower here. Basically, we need to join these two pipes at a 30 degree angle. So I have 3D printed this guide here. And this guide should let me do a perfect cutout, in theory. This is a 2.5 gallon per hour nozzle for burning oil, which gets mounted inside the tube here. And to connect the nozzle with the outlet here, I have some 5 mm brake tubing. I have 3D printed an adapter. I don't know if this flow adjustment is necessary, but better have it and not use it than vice versa. Let me give you a short setup tour. We have here a diesel tank. The diesel goes through the fuel filter here, goes into the fuel pump up here into this T section. Here you have a shuttle valve. This line goes back into the tank, that's a return line. A needle valve and also here a needle valve so you can adjust the flow to the nozzle. And if everything works, we should see a fine mist here. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, we have perfectly fine mist here. So, let's turn on the blower. So, as you have seen in the last clip, I didn't really get a stable flame. I used a 2.5 gallon nozzle. I think the, the nozzle size was a little bit too big and so I didn't really get a fine mist. So I upgraded now to a 0.85 gallon per hour nozzle, which basically should vaporize the fuel a lot better. And I've also added a little flap here so I can change the air output. Let's try it out. Ok, 
Okay, now we need more air. Ah, it's still dripping. It's still dripping. The issue I have is I can't get this uh, sealed properly. It's always leaking between the nozzle and the face here. I've tried it with Teflon tape, I've tried it with this stuff here. And uh, now I think I will machine a recess here. So I can put a flexible washer here and hope this seals the nozzle. Let's hope for the best. It seems it doesn't leak, which is good. Air. Air closed. Connect the pump. Ah, more air. Ah, it's working. Ha <laughs> ha.